The emotional scars for survivors of Sunday night shooting will last a lifetime, but for those wounded in the gunfire, the physical scars can be easier to manage thanks to some local plastic surgeons. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine talked with two survivors who say the free procedures are helping them to move past the pain. I just remember running and screaming and I'm like looking at my arm. 19 year old Alexandra Pettis says she ran for her life, hiding behind a bar as people tried to protect her from any more bullets. Three or four people put themselves on top of me because I'd already been shot twice, so they were kind of just like covering me. Pettis, who went to the concert with her boyfriend, was hit in the arm, another bullet piercing through her chest. Her boyfriend also hit the wound so bad he's still in the hospital. Making a tight fist. While the gash on her arm is still fresh and memories always filling her mind, she doesn't want any other reminder of that terrifying night. It would be there forever as kind of like a reminder. It'll, so I think it'll help having it look somewhat normal. That's where these doctors step in. The team at Plastic Surgery Vegas is offering any victim free procedures to help them get back to any sense of normalcy again. We thought we could maybe help with the smaller things that you know, go on forever, you know, they go on for weeks and months sometimes. Survivor Aaron Lawfrey also made an appointment today after being hit in the leg. It's, it's fragments stuck in my, uh, in my soft tissue. After seeing the ERs inundated with people, he says the help here was needed. The emotional side of anything like this is going to take way more time than, to heal than the physical stuff. Again, all the services here at Plastic Surgery Vegas completely free to any victim of Sunday night shooting. They also say people like medical companies that make bandages as well as anesthesiologists are all providing their services for free. Reporting from Sunset and Durango, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News.